What's up, people? It's Dave back from Married to the Mod with you. Normally Karen's here, but uh, she says hi. Replaced her today with this beautiful Christmas tree. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to all you people out there watching. Today we got a little review for you on the IPV D3. So, without further ado, why don't we get into this? Alright guys, so we're back with you here down low. Um, this is the IPV D3. It is an 80 watt machine. This is the packaging that comes in. has a nice little sleeve. And they actually call this a gift box. So you know I got the black one. It does come in different colors. What you're going to do, obviously, you're just going to slide this little sleeve off. Pop the box open. And there she is. User manual, go through this in a second. Got a warranty card here, okay? Fill it out, send it in. These machines aren't break proof. I know from experience. Then, here you go, you got your little mod. And I tell you, it's small. Nice but small. Under that, you're going to have a little certificate saying that this passed. Good to know. And a little cable. DC 5 volt. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but anyways, that's going to be one of the cons of this. So let's get this stuff out of the way. <clears throat> it isn't on the little sleeve here. We'll slide it out. Here it goes. It is little. Like I said, I have the black version, obviously, as you can see. This does not have an inboard battery. It is outboard. And you have a little Pioneer for you symbol here. IPV on the back. That's your battery door. Three buttons. Plus, minus. 80 watt machine, it is temperature controlled. Before we get into this machine, let's look through this manual here. This manual is going to tell you all the specs. I highly suggest that you look through it. Get to know your machine. As you can see here, it has an output of 7 to 80 watts, or in temperature control mode, or IPV version, is 10 to 75 joules. That's their temperature control version. And uh, your standard resistance here in power mode is 0.15, and it'll fire all the way up to 3 ohms. Your joule mode is going to be 0 0.05. I believe the IPVD2 was 0.2, so a little bit of an uh, upgrade there. Your total output voltage is going to be 1 to 7 volts, and this does have step-down, just so you guys know. I'll show you that. Anyways, on to this. Now, before I get into anything, I just want to point this out. You're going to have a little bit of rattle. <clears throat> All right. You uh, fingernail biters who are sitting on the couch worrying about stuff. That could, uh, could bother you a little bit. I don't know. Me, I don't care. I'm going to use an H -E, uh, I'm sorry, an LG HE2 Brown. I like these batteries. But before we put it in, we're going to pop it open. Show you the sleigh here. Nice. Clean. Got a little... Uh, IPV sticker here pointing to the negative. That negative on this machine is going to go up. Nice little springy uh, hold there. And there is no, no, none of those battery prongs to rip your batteries, which is nice. The ribbon, battery ribbon. 510 pin. It is spring loaded. <clears throat> it does have a screw line. Don't unscrew it, don't screw it. It's going to be where it's got to be. Just let it be. Um, it's not recessed at all, but I will tell you that everything I've put on here has fit nicely. It's made a good connection. Haven't had an issue with it at all. All right, so we're going to go ahead and slide the battery in here. Positive side down. Now, while we're up and close here, I did point out to you this, right? Let me show you what I've been doing. A little trick here. Sliding this over, putting the door back on, it's going to take that rattle out of it quite a bit. Now it is still there, but not nearly as bad. <clears throat> Five clicks, going to turn this on, IPV, I am the IPV D3. Uh, this does have the Yihi, let me, well, let's go into it here. Five clicks, going to get you into the uh, menu. The version is the Yihi SX150H chip. Nice basic chip. Anyways, we're going to start here from 7 watts. 
There's your lowest setting and on the screen here we have your volts, your ohms, nice little battery uh, signal, symbol, whatever you want to call it there. And like I said, it will run all the way up to 80 watts. And it does scroll by 0.1, but there you got 80 watts. Let's jump into uh, the menu here. First, you click it five times, it's going to say system off. You click that system, goes from up uppercase to lowercase, and it is now off. Click it back on. Next system after that is a uh, power mode. You can switch that to dual mode. Your power mode, it's, if you leave it in power, you click it again, it's just going to go to version. You can switch that. Your exit on. All right, now when you're in power mode, your main screen here is your wattage mode like I just showed. You're going from 7 to 80 watts. Let's go into dual mode though. When you hit dual mode, you're going to hit the fire button here. It's going to go unit, Fahrenheit, or Celsius. All right. I'm going to select Fahrenheit. I'm in the States. I'm not smart enough to know Celsius, all that. We go all the way at a top out of 572, all the way down to 212. And this scrolls really fast. Easy to switch. Let's say we want that. We can run nickel or titanium wire on this no stainless steel oh well all right get away from nickel wire though it's it's a dying wire and then you can go back into your version or your exit on okay so try and fire this it's going to say check atomizer like most regulated box mods um size wise i don't have huge hands but it is small okay all I have here to uh, compare it to is the Cool Fire. Sorry, it's a little custom with my uh, sample box there. But um, it's a little bit shorter than the Cool Fire 4. You stand it up here and you're going to be... It's about the same width. I don't have the, the direct uh, dimensions of this. Sorry. And I'll tell you, the width, you're dead on at the uh, Cool Fire's fattest point. It's exactly the same. So... Other than that, in this, uh, oh, what I wanted to show you here. When you go into jewel mode here, okay, we'll, we'll stay in jewel here. Let's go to Celsius, and I believe it's going to run 300 at your top out. All the way down to 100. All right. But like I said, I am in the States. We're going to switch it to power mode for what I'm going to show you here. And let me just show you before we jump back out and vape this, I'll tell you what I do and don't like about it is, let me throw an atomizer on here. And I just want to show you the step down. Alright, so power mode. Now this atomizer, to read and lock in your, your, your atomizer, you're going to hold the up and down button. 0.2923 it's only got two two point it only goes to the hundredth here so it's going to lock in at 0.29 okay now when <clears throat> when I'm all the way up at 80 watts 0.29 is going to give me 4.81 volts yes it will fire up to 7 volts but you're going to have to build lower to get that much power now if we drop this down you're going to watch that voltmeter just kind of drop to show your step down 7 watts you're going to fire at 1.42 volts at 0.29 ohms that is all right so that's a basic run through on the uh the IPv D3 we'll get back out we'll vape it we'll show you the pros and cons or I'll tell you the pros and cons about it and uh get out of here and we're back guys uh just before I let you go here I want to show you one more thing. There is a way to lock this device. If you press the up or plus button and the fire button here, you just click it and it's going to say lock. All right. Now, if you click it again, it's going to say unlock. And the buttons, they are very clicky. They are nice. They're comfortable. I'll tell you that. But I'm going to tell you I like this machine for its size. Right here I got a hobo atomizer on it which is small in general and listen this thing is it's tiny 
but I like a nice little, if you like small pocket vapes, this is the way to go. This thing is tiny, it packs a punch, holds good battery life. Um, on the brown, I'm getting a full day out of it, and I vape anywhere from 40 to 50 watts. Um, let me take a vape here. This is at 35 watts on a .29 coil. Pretty nice. These lower uh, wattage or lower ohm coils. I'm gonna jump this up here right to 50. Show you a 50 uh, watt vape. One of the big cons. I I don't. I mean, it's a pioneer for you thing. This DC 5 volt adapter. Get away from it. I don't know what the what the positive to it is. You can charge through this. You can charge your battery. Leave it in there. Charge it. You know, I don't. I don't recommend charging it through there. Um, and one more thing I wanted to say is that I did get this from Sweet Vapes. Great company, sweetvapes.com. I'll put a link in the description down below if you're looking for it. Um, I ordered from, from order to door. It was probably four days, but it was, it was very fast. Fifty watt vape. You're gonna get the denser, more plumier, foggier type of hit there. Great taste, but that's all about the atomizer here. I'm just telling you about this IPv D3 for right now. Um, I want to give a shout out to Hank Vapes. Gave me a little knowledge through a message there. Thanks a lot, buddy. And uh, if you're into uh, reviews stuff like that, go check his stuff out. He's putting out some really good stuff there. Let you know what to buy, what not to buy. <clears throat> Other than that, like, subscribe. Please, we're looking for subscribers. Guys, if you like what you saw, we're going to do more of these reviews. Karen's going to be back with us. I know most of you people probably like her more than me, but it's just me for tonight. So, anyways, I hope you do like and uh, subscribe to our videos, Married to the Mod, that is. And uh, just remember, those that vape together, stay together.